The objective within this lesson is to divide two and three digit dividends by two digit divisors with single digit quotients. Let's start with the problem 93 divided by 23. 93 is our whole and 23 is our divisor. And then so our estimate for this would be 23 is close to 20. And then remember that if we're dividing by 20 there, so our estimate would be about 80. 80 would be a good one to choose. 80 divided by 20 is 4. So our estimated um, quotient here is 4. Our estimated quotient can help us figure out how to divide this and how to solve this using that standard algorithm. So here's the solve. We have 93 and we're dividing it by 23. In this case it goes in four whole times. 23 does not go into 9. 23 does go into 93. And then we have to multiply that. 4 times 23, that's 2, regroup by 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, so that's 92. 93 minus 92 is 1, so our remainder is 1. Here's our check for that solution of 4, remainder 1. <clears throat> we multiply 23, which was our divisor, by our answer, which was 4. 4 times 3 is 12, 2 regroup of 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And then we add back in that remainder. 92 plus 1 is 93. So it does check. This matches with what it is that we are dividing, or our whole. Eighty-seven divided by thirty-two. If I was to round the divisor for an easier division problem, it would be divided by thirty. Now, we know that ninety divided by thirty, if we were to choose ninety, would give us three. However, we look at this here, that 90, and then um, it's bigger or larger. In other words, our estimated quotient would probably end up being too big or too large. Now, instead of 90, then, we could choose 60, and 60 divided by 30 is 2. Let's use that and use our estimates there to help us try to solve this. 87 divided by 32. We think that our S it should be 2. 2 times 32 is 64. 87 minus 64 is 23. So 23 is lower than 32. In other words, we could not make another group of 32 with that 23. That's why it is a valid remainder. Let's run our check for that, where we take our answer, which was 2, and multiply it back by 32. 32 times 2, which was our divisor. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 64. We add back in our remainder, and we do get 87. Okay, it's your turn. We'll take 97 and divide it by 24. Go ahead and solve it using that standard algorithm, and check. Pause that video. 24 goes into 97. How many whole times? Did you choose 4? 4 times 4 is 16. 6 regroup of 1. Nine, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 97 minus 96 is 1. So our solution is 4 with a remainder of 1. Let's check that. We'll take our divisor, which was 24. We'll multiply it by 4. 4 times 4 is 16, 6 regroup of 1, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, so we have 96. Remember to add back in that remainder, so we have 97, and that matches with what it is that we were dividing, our or our wholes. Here's another one for you. Go ahead and set this up and solve. We have 83, and we're dividing it by 25. 25 goes into 83 three whole times, because 3 times 25 is 75. We subtract that, and we get 8, so our remainder is 8. 
run our check, where we take 25, multiply it by our quotient, which was 3. 3 times 5 is 15, 5 regroup by 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and we add back in our remainder to get 83, and so that matches. So 83 divided by 25 does equal 3 with a remainder of 8. Okay, one last problem to review. We have 57 divided by 19. Remember, 19 is our divisor, and our dividend is 57. That's our whole. That's what we're dividing. And then we have a quotient, which will be our answer. And of course, we can set it up using a standard algorithm. We take our dividend, which was 57, or the wholes, and we're dividing it by 19. 19 is close to 20. Count by 20 is 20, 40, 60. That's 20 times 3 is 60. Let's try 3. 3 times 9 is 27. 7, regroup at 2. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. 57. 57 minus 57 is 0. So our remainder would be 0. We do not write remainder 0. We just know that 57 divided by 19, then, is just 3. So 3 is our quotient. So we'll take our quotient, which was 3, and we'll multiply it back with that divisor. 3 times 9 is 27, 7 regroup at 2, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, 57. Now if there had been a remainder, this is the point where it is that we would add back in the remainder, and make sure that what we get for our check matches with what it is that we were dividing. Remember for our check again, then, we use that inverse operation of division, which was multiplication, where we took 3, we multiplied it by 19, and hoped we got 57. And if we did have a remainder, we would add that back on in.